down at Fraggle Rock. Nice shot. <laughs> well, thanks. I wish we had some more players. Then we could get a real game going. Oh, oh, I don't oh, believe it. Oh, I just don't believe it. Sprocket, do you believe it? No, of course you don't believe it. No one could believe it. Sprocket, Ned Shimmerfinny has become a chipmunk. Oh, yes. Oh, no, no, Sprocket, not one of those cute little furry animals. A chipmunk, the royal order of chipmunks. One of those secret lodges. Well, exactly. Imagine a bunch of grown men dressing up in silly uniforms and reciting a lot of secret trash. Hello. What? Hello, Mr. Well, yes, of course. Oh, hi. Tomorrow night? Well, uh, uh, of course, I could be there. Sprocket, it's wonderful. I've been asked to become a chipmunk. So Trindle, the princess of light, wandered for hours through the forest of midnight. Suddenly a hideous gibbabase came up and screamed. <laughs> It's the Bigler Big. Call him Big Deal. It is a big deal. He is the leader of the exalted High Holy Order of Poobahs. Listen, the Poobahs are just a fad. It's the dumbest thing to hit the rock ever since that time we painted our tails blue. Man, how can you say that? Why, the Poobahs are the most secret, exalted society in all of Braggledom. So secret, no one even knows who's a member. I know I'm not, but I sure would love to be. Sounds dumb to me. But if you want to be a poobah, why not go ask the beggar bag? No, 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 I couldn't do that, Red. No, Red, please, Red, I'm probably not worthy, you know. Bravo, bravo. Yes, yes. If you want to be a poobah, go for it. Bravo, bravo. Yeah, yeah. And what do you want? Uh, uh, oh. Please, Mr. Begler Big. Do not call me Begler Big. Oh, oh. Only a Pooba may call me by my name. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I... Did you know you have a spot on your sweater? No, no. Oh, oh, gee. Uh, it's just blueberry juice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you won't bother me anymore. Uh, I mean, I won't bother you anymore. I'm sorry. I said Begler Big. Oh, I think you should know. She takes things a little too seriously. Oh. oh! That was the most humiliating experience of my entire life! Who cares about the poobahs? She noticed my dirty sweater? I called him by his name! Oh, it was awful! Forget it! Come on, we'll have a nice evening. I'll even cook supper. I don't want supper. I'll cook over surprise. Red, you know I hate okra. Even you hate okra. Well, don't you want to know what the surprise is in okra surprise? No. There's no okra! Ah! <laughs> Will you please not joke at a time like this? I have just humiliated myself. I'll never eat again. Then did the bird, the dull gray bird, sit down and down beyond to um, despise. For you. Uh, uh, oh, well, gee, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Gravel, gravel. Uh, gravel, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gravel. 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 Well, what, what, um, it, uh, two mochi fraggle. Um, no, no, no. I was in bed, my eyes were closed. What's your guess? Red, I have news that will freeze your fur. I have news that will kink your tail and make your pigtails pop. Oh, terrific. This news will completely rearrange my body. So tell it to me. Red, I have been invited to join the exalted high holy order of 
school bus. <gasps> Doesn't surprise me. I knew you'd be surprised. Here's the invitation. <gasps> I believe you, Moki. Just remember, the Poobahs is a silly society. Not silly. Solemn. It's silly to think it's solemn. Oh, look. Here, here. It says in the invitation, the initiation will be at Firefly Cavern. I must be proved worthy. Oh, you'll be oh. worthy. Oh, look. Here's a little note at the bottom I hadn't seen. Um, under no circumstances must you tell anyone of this invitation. Oh, no. No problem. No problem? Of course it's a problem I told you. Well, how are they gonna know? Honestly, Moki, you are taking things too seriously these days. I'm taking it seriously, Red. Because this is serious. You know. Halt! Who goes there? It is I, the very most early Vanguard. Vanguard of what? Vanguard! That body of fraggles which is so exalted that I am unworthy to speak its name. Oh, damn, I speak its name. I, the most outspoken speaker of the name, may speak the name. Then I repeat, halt, who goes there? The very exalted high holy order of Poopas. mind reader. I knew you were going to say that. I have looked into the heart of this fraggle, and I have found her to be unworthy. Oh. <laughs> oh. And what has she done to achieve 
this state of unworthy to... She disobeyed our first order. She told her roommate Red of our invitation. <laughs> oh. How did she know? Silence! <laughs> Okey Fraggle, now you will never become a poobah. <laughs> Well, here I am, a chipmunk. Sprocket, what are you doing wearing my helmet? That looks ridiculous on you. I, on the other hand, look quite dashing. Please, Mr. Bigglerbeg, I didn't mean to disobey. It's just that, well, I got very excited and I told my roommate Red before I even read the note and, oh, I never do anything to offend the poobahs. Too late! There is no way for you to join our ranks, short of undergoing the trial. I, um, I'll do it. You would be willing to undergo the trial? I'll do anything to become a pooba. In that case, I appoint the royal vanguard to act as judge. <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> Possibly innocent! I can never remember which is which. Not yet, judge, not yet. First give her the rule book. The rule book. Yes, guilty is the part when you've done something bad, I think. Prepare yourself. Return tomorrow night, bringing with you the fraggle called Red. Red? Red must come too? And be prepared to tell us what you should tell us. What should I tell you? You tell us. <laughs> <laughs> now throw this foolhardy young fraggle out a firefly cavern! Innocent is the one I can never remember. Doesn't that have something to do with lambs? Or lunchtime.